is Thursday, November 16th here. You'll notice the hood is a little narrower. I am now back in the 8870 with the five shank DMI Ripper. It does an absolutely beautiful job, even at low speeds. Uh, the reason I'm going so slow is this is one of their cart roads and uh, it's, it's compacted. Uh, so I'm going slow so I don't rip this thing apart because this tractor is way big for it, but it's working it, but uh, you could pull this thing apart. So just taking my time. Uh, I'm gonna do the headlands here and then once I get moved into that field right there, I'll be back up to, you can go pretty much as fast as you want, but I'm trying to try to hold about five miles an hour, five and a half. And uh, you can see the combine sitting there. I left a little path for him to get out of here. And uh, he's got about six, seven acres left and he'll be done for the year. So we'll, uh, I'll keep you posted. I just thought I'd start it all year, but I'll get a video when we're actually cruising speed. But this thing just absolutely shines when it's in the, uh, when we're in, uh, you know, short rounds. Like I was just cleaning up this field with a lot of short rounds with the big ripper left and the headlands is just perfect. All right, I'm in this like, long stretches here, not the biggest field, but uh, it's cut by a waterway, but you can see my uncle's going over there. He's got his uh, John Deere 9400. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah. So he's gonna polish off that last little bit. I guess his wet tank's full. He's still, you know, slowly going at it, but he's gonna get it tonight. And uh, this thing, this tractor rides so nice with the air ride seat and the power it's got and uh, everything else. But uh, we're cruising right along. You really can't see it because of the fenders here, but uh, the ripper's back there. Five shank ripper, disc levelers on the back. It just does an absolutely beautiful job. So you can see I'm going right up to the waterway and uh, I'll have to chop the other side for you and then we'll go at that. So it's so nice to just be able to pick it up, spin around and drop back in. Uh, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that with the phone here because it'll be hard for you guys. I can't hang on to you and you won't see anything when I grab a three-point lever anyway, so. This tractor is the cat's meow for crossing waterways and cleaning fields up. It is super nice. You don't even bounce because this tractor is so heavy that you don't even bounce with that thing hanging on the three-point. This is great. So this field here, I guess my uncle just called me and said it hasn't been tilled in like three years. It went pretty good. I never would have guessed that. Uh, this field here, he's going to keep no-till, and uh, that's all he's got left for picking. But, uh, yeah, that went pretty well. And uh, I, so I said something about the chopper. A oh, little bump there. I said something about the chopper out at our place. It's hooked up, I guess, but they aren't actively chopping because we don't have the manpower, and it's going okay. And especially with that mulch finisher, it's not as critical. Uh, but if we have the manpower, we might do it in some of the bigger fields. It's just kind of a pain that we have to unhook and hook from it in every field. So we wouldn't be doing it in all the little fields, but possibly in a couple bigger fields, maybe. So I guess if we're using it, great. If we're not, not. But uh, yeah, I'm just going up here. I'm just going to clean up where his, um, where his combine was parked. I went around him on the other field. And now that he's in this field, I can clean that up. And he's leaving this. So tillage is done out east for my uncle after I do that. And then I'm gonna, I'm going to work, and then uh, my uncle's, one of my guys that works for my uncle is gonna drive this out, and he's gonna rip out for us tonight a little bit, I think is the plan. And Brian might hop in the other ripper, and we'll see how far they go. And uh, now I got pulled for overtime tomorrow night, so I won't be able to come out tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain anyways, so they might get shut down tomorrow anyways, so I guess it's a good day to work overtime. And then, uh, you know, work this weekend. Maybe we'll rip on Saturday, maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna help build a retaining wall on Sunday, I think is our plan. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. You know, next week looks favorable. I have Monday off, so I'll probably be ripping Monday. And uh, if we don't finish Monday, I have training Tuesday. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. So we are gonna finish before uh, Thanksgiving though. I'm 99% sure, don't want to jinx us, but as long as everything holds together, we should have everything tucked away before Thanksgiving. So. Well, I noticed this uh, closer thing here was doing a little wobble wobble as I shaked out everything to make sure it was okay before I left, so we just put a new bolt in there. No problem. Had to chip away the frozen mud was the hardest part. Fuel it up, and then we're going to park this right for probably the next couple hours, and my uncle's going to finish combining, and then he's going to drive out there. 
but the other ripper is going out on our ground, so. All right, I'm just leaving my uncle's, but yeah, I can see the bees' wings are just sticking to everything. He's got to brush it off every so often, but uh, I always think this air system's really cool, so I'm gonna explain it before I get out. But there's a there's a blower, and I think the fan, like the compressor's actually over here, and it blows the corn, and it goes up, and there's the diverter for which bin it's going to. And I always think it's cool to watch the corn go by, so I explain. I'm gonna explain it here so you can hear me. Once I get out, it's loud. So one sec. There's the compressor. It blows the air. And it dryers continuously dumping. I always think this is cool. Watching the corn come by. You can just see the bees wings. Holy smokes on this side of the have to brush it off, so but he's almost done. He's got like four more acres. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I'm going to work, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night, and we'll check you later.